this trip to caribbean would definitely cost me a fortune uh but i still have to do it finally that time is here i've been planning this trip for god knows how a lot kept on happening but god's time is always the best the time is here and listen i'm super excited to be exploring the other part of the world i mean the new world i'm excited man i don't even know what to tell you man but hey let's go to brazil <laughs> Made it, man. This is one of the longest flights in my whole travels. Eh? It reminds me of the days that I used to go to China, 13 hours, but this time around I spent 12 hours in the plane, man. Even my waist is paining me. This is connection, baggage, claim. Yeah. Woo! I can't believe I'm in Brazil, bro. I just can't believe it. I mean, what do you think of Brazil, man? For me, it's all about football. I mean, Ronaldo. I remember growing up in Africa, I used to be called Bebeto. <laughs> and I am here. Finally, excited to be here. And I can't wait to share all the exciting stories with you all. Welcome to Sao Paulo. Welcome to Brazil. We're here, yeah, and um, we're in Sao Paulo. But the main goal of coming to Brazil is more of uh, connecting the Africans that were taken away from Africa and uh, brought to Brazil. That is the reason why we are here because um, we're trying to, I mean, bridge the gap between Africans living in the diaspora and um, Africans living in Africa. When I talk about diaspora, I'm not talking about Africans that left the continent by choice, but people that left the continent by force yeah so we we here you know we here and um checking out the city that we have to go where everything started from i mean the first capital of brazil is salvador and once again um i never knew brazil is that expensive in terms of traveling and um checking tickets from here which is going to take like roughly two hours 15 minutes to get there is giving me a vibe of um 590 us dollars these guys are here already they came before me, man. How is Brazil so far? You've been here for three days. Everyone is here. Brazil to the world. And um, yeah, we gotta do what we have to do. But trust me, this trip is gonna be one of uh, my most expensive trip ever. I thought, I thought Angola was so expensive. It was to be. Oh, <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. All right, but I'm not I'm not saying that like um, Brazil itself is super expensive. Angola is extremely expensive, but this one is like I think uh, we have to spend more hours on on plane in the plane. Oh wow, look at the view! Whoo, the plane is taking off. Ah, the camera cannot see anything. So that's an airport right over there. So yeah, from the apartment you can see planes taking off in and out, man. So yeah, I'm yet to purchase the ticket, and uh, on Wednesday we'll be heading to Salvado. If you have been following me for a very long time, you will know that I'm a big fan of the Caribbean. If you have been following me from day one, you know that visiting the Caribbean is one of my biggest dreams. But I just don't want this Caribbean trip to be just an ordinary trip because it means a lot to me. Why do I say so? I'm just a young man on a journey to change the negative narrative of Africa. But whilst I was on the journey, I discovered that I got my own people living in a new world that I had no idea about. As a young man on a journey to change the negative narrative of Africa, there's so much that I discovered along my journey. What did they do to keep the African spirit alive? For me, I don't just wake up to create. I create YouTube videos with a purpose. 
I create YouTube videos as a way of learning. So whenever you're watching my videos, if you learn something new, don't forget that me as a person also learn something new every single day. And as a young man on a journey to change the negative narrative of Africa, I learned so many new things that I never knew it existed. One of the things that I learned is being an African does not necessarily mean that you are born and raised in Africa. But there are Africans that were taken forcefully out of Africa into the new world. And as part of my journey, I decided to connect the dots. I decided to bridge the gap. I decided to go and see my brothers and sisters living in the other part of the world and connect them with my brothers and sisters back home. When I was on this journey, that's how I also discovered that I look like Marcus Garvey. Initially, I didn't even know who Marcus Garvey is. I always tell people that the job that I'm doing is bigger than me. When I wake up in the morning, all I think about is what's next. The challenges has been many. I hardly come in here to tell you guys about my challenges, but the people who know me in person, the people who speak to me in person every day, know that it hasn't been easy being on this journey. And I'm not ready to give up on this journey because I feel like it's a calling. When God calls you to do his work, don't think that you're going to have it easy. And that has been my problem from 2021 to today. And if I should tell you guys what has been happening to me from 2021 to now, you'll be like, oh, Maya, just drop the mic and stop being on YouTube. But because it's a calling to connect my brothers and sisters, despite the challenges, I will still do it. And I will never give up. Just slept with one hour for me to go to the airport to check in. Where am I going? We are on our way to Brazil. I tried so hard to get visas for my team for the US, Canada, UK, so that it will make the trip easier for us because I don't want to go on this trip all by myself. I really want this, I really want something positive to come out of this trip. So I didn't want to do it all by myself. I wanted to take my whole team. And also, you know, like, they travel with you within Africa. You don't expect me to go to the other side of the world and just leave them behind. So I wanted to carry them along. But all the visas that we applied, they got refused. I tried so hard to get visas for my team and it's, it's, it's very difficult because um, I'm trying to get them visas all the time. They refuse them. I'll get the visa and they get refused. I've tried so hard. We tried USA, they got refused. They, we tried Canada, they got refused. We tried UK, they got refused. I feel like um, things are, have been going bad recently. Um, I, I got denied. I applied for some visas and I got denied, you know. And then... We tried another option. We had to go to the Brazil Embassy. And with the Brazil Embassy, because that's a, another alternative that we need to use to get to the Caribbean. So we go to the Brazilian Embassy. Thank God the consul actually knew me and know what I do. So they ended up getting the visa. So they have the visa and... The ticket to Brazil was extremely expensive. I don't think it's advisable to tell them that, hey, um, the trip is so expensive, so um, some of you cannot come with me. So I travel with two guys, and um, their ticket to uh, Brazil was around $1,600 each person. And uh, I bought two, and then I am in um, Germany right now as I speak to you guys, but they have to fly to uh, Brazil as I speak to you right now. The flight is today, but then, I need to make sure I get a ticket that goes to um, Kingston, Jamaica. So we're trying to book a ticket from Brazil to Jamaica, which will prove to the Brazil, you know, immigration that we're not coming to stay in their country. We will leave after. Because when you get to the immigration, they have to ask you um, 
when are you leaving and where are you leaving to are you returning to your country or are you moving to another country maya is trying to book the tickets and i'm checking online and um, the least tickets that you will ever get is a thousand and ninety nine dollars so three people including myself we have to pay three thousand two hundred and ninety seven dollars that is the amount that i need to spend to take me to the caribbean man once again we're not gonna give up so i'm finally in the plane and then uh, there was a bit delay and um, the funny thing is i'm part of the people who delayed the plane today but i'm so sorry um, to everyone on this flight but someone will ask why is Watermaya traveling out of Africa? Is Africa to the world over? Just to lunch. Cheers to lunch on the desert. Yes, please. That sounds good. The goal is to travel to every African nation in the world. I said it. If you are black looking like me, living out of Africa, know that you are African. If you know the history of Brazil, you will know that Brazil was built on the struggles of Africans. If you live in America, you know that America was built by the struggles of Africans. You know, know your history. I am just here to go to every single black nation in the world. Wherever you see black people, you will see what am I there. This is the new face of the Africa to the world movement. So I've seen all your comments the unnecessary ones I, I just don't react but i just want to let you know that i did not give up on africa to the world what i'm doing is still africa to the world <laughs> this feels like you are in african markets man somewhere in Marcola. and we are not in africa we are in brazil man and the fact that everyone in here looks like me that's even more crazy man. i don't know if you can see this stretch I don't know if you know that Brazil got the most populous African nation out of Africa. The blackest city out of Africa. Most of the slaves that were shipped out of Africa were brought to Brazil. Even more than the United States of America. So when I got in here, I've seen comments like, oh, finally he left Africa. Oh, he's trying to be someone that he is not. My purpose and my goals, mission, vision have been clear since day one. This is me, the same guy you watch from day one. I have never changed. So we finally in Brazil and our goal is to take you to the blackest city out of Africa, Salvador, Bahia, where their culture is similar to whatever we have in Africa in terms of religion, food they eat and everything. We just want to introduce the African city within Brazil to you all. But hey, I, I just have to be honest, man. <laughs> this trip will cost me a fortune and I will need your help. I decided to create a travel fund. It's in the description box. Feel free, it's not by force. It's not by force. And we're just letting you know, if there's any way you can support us, please do so and support us. That's all I'm gonna tell you. But um, I, I, I bought a ticket to Jamaica. The goal was to travel from Brazil to Jamaica and we're not allowed to fly to Jamaica. It's unfortunate. Why? Because the flight that we bought was for us to fly from Sao Paulo to Panama and Panama to Kingston, which was a one hour transit. But I don't know if you guys have heard of the Darien Gap where Africans and Asians travel through the forest of South America to enter to Mexico and Mexico to uh, America. And because of this, my team once again were not allowed to fly from uh, Sao Paulo to Jamaica. 
I was so excited going to Jamaica, but the dream nearly got shattered. But I'm not gonna give up. Definitely gonna not gonna give up until I got myself and the whole team in Jamaica. Because the goal is to bridge the gap. I don't I cannot do everything by myself because of the concept that I have for Jamaica. So I have to wait till I make sure that the whole team come along with me to Jamaica. So I had to change everything again. So we got stuck in Brazil for like five days, which that money was a lot of money, over $3,200. It's gone. Because I cannot just travel all by myself because I have all the visas, I have all the visas, but um, I don't have to travel by leaving my team behind. So I had to stay behind to make sure that everything is okay. So that's why I'm saying that so many things that we planned didn't go the way we planned it. So because of that, uh, it's making me lose a lot of money out here. But the goal is to travel every black nation within this region. So we diverted our trip to Suriname. So I want to say that everything is okay with us. This is just me coming in here to speak to you. This should have been a live video, but yeah, decided to put it up in a YouTube video. It's been long since I did something like this. So stick and stay, like the video, share to your friends and family that what am I finally made it to, I mean, South America, Caribbean and um, subscribe to be part of this awesome channel. There's more videos coming up. You see the similarities between Africa and um, the Caribbean. You see our own people. It's exciting. I I'm so excited to be here. So be excited to be part of this awesome family. Subscribe and I believe that by the time we get back to Africa, this page needs to hit 2 million. Thank you. I love you guys and I'll see you all in the next one.